What's good, y'all? As y'all can tell by the title, this is Day in the Life of a Walmart Cart Pusher. I've been a cart pusher at Walmart for around three months now. This shit pretty easy, so this is just basically a day in the life. I'm going to just show what I do and every day and how to do it. These are the kicks. They just get the job done. I know these say Air Max only. I got these from a thrift store just because I needed shoes to wear, okay, guys? Do not say nothing about it, please. That's really all I need them for. Are you ready? I'm going to show y'all when I'm clocking in and shit and then just show y'all what I got to do. I just clocked in and usually after I clock in, I got a boo-boo. So let me get that out the way. show y'all what I usually do and how to work the machine and stuff like that so yeah the remote so you're always gonna have a cart connected to this machine this is the thing that's pushing the uh the mule so our key here broke I pulled it out and the shit broke, so you gotta twist it with like a card or something, or your finger. I'm gonna show y'all. So there, it's on when you see the light flashing. I mean, it's on. So it's really simple. The button, green is to start it. You press the turtle to go slow. The bunny makes it go fast. Pretty simple shit. I'm gonna just show y'all how I gather them and just show y'all how the day go. Just turn it like anything it's not hard like when i first started doing this it, i was it was kind of like sensitive you gotta be careful but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy you just turn it like any other shit you turn just turn it it's not nothing crazy just turn like i'm doing it all with one hand like it's not nothing crazy so right here you see all these carts right here you just gather them all up in a line i'm gonna show you all how it look when i do it so i'm gonna put all those ones right here put them right here and then go out that way and take them to the uh part where you put the cards in. And then right here, you just, when you want to turn it, just put your leg on it or you can just hold it with one hand, hold the button and just move it. So I'm gonna try to show y'all, it's gonna be hard to do with one hand. So I'm just trying to show y'all the end result. Usually there will be some waters in here, but there's only one left. So you gotta go get them. the waters you're supposed to take off the barcode and give it to them so they could uh store uh scan it or whatever the fuck they gotta do so you can obviously get it so it doesn't make them lose profit and stuff like that so yeah take off the qr code when you grab the waters i say qr code the fucking scanner code what the fuck These things go slow as fuck. I don't even think y'all can see me, but these things go slow as fuck. So sometimes if you're trying to finesse and make the time go by, you could get on one of these and uh, just go all the way around. So it looked like you going all the way across to grab it. Cause this one I just grabbed is right by the door, but I just did this just to make a little bit of time go by. Just finesse, man. Just finesse. These things go slow as hell. Sometimes people try to take them. Like somebody tried to steal one the other day. This lady said she got out of the car and said, no, no. So she uh, stopped him with her super. Fuck! She stopped the nigga with her superhero powers, and you gotta respect it because I wouldn't have stopped him. I, 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 it had nothing to do with me, but she did it, and as a result, I walked all the way over there and grabbed it, and I helped uh, some time go off the clock. So you find instances like that, 
Use it to your advantage. So I always bring my backpack with me and I leave it in the cart shit with me. Just because I don't got a locker or nothing and I don't want nobody to steal my shit. So if I have it with me at all times, I know where it's at. But let me just show you all a few things I usually bring with me. I got my portable charger, just in case my phone about to die. I bought some forks. <laughs> I got hella forks just in case I got noodles. I don't usually eat these at work. I just got them just in case if I'm, you know, just need something quick or something. I get here early or whatever, just eat some noodles real quick. I got some, uh, some fake Nutri-Grain bars. They fake, I got them from the Dollar General, but they, they taste good. These just some of the snack on. And I cannot forget my earbuds. I didn't show you all my earbuds. I got some earbuds that I use. They don't want you to wear no earbuds, but I do it to help it go time go by quicker. And you know, I just leave it in one ear, obviously, because you want to hear when the cars are coming or you know, somebody talking to you or some shit. So obviously don't put in two earbuds, but I put it in one ear and just listen to music and they never stopped me. Before I started doing this though, I asked them if you post to uh or if you can wear uh, earbuds. And they said no, but I've been doing it for almost three months. Nobody ever stopped me. I be having it up loud too and they hear it, but if you're getting the job done, I guess it's right. So yeah, my earbuds is in my backpack as well. Like something I usually do when you're doing all these carts, you find hella receipts. So I use the app Fetch and scan all those receipts. So I got hella points just scanning random receipts that people leave in their carts. Because you might as well, like, people be getting lit receipts like this long. It's like, fuck it. I ain't gonna lie though, I don't know if y'all noticed, but I got scoliosis and shit, so this shit do uh kinda hurt my back, you know, standing up for so long and shit. But it's easy money though, it's easy money. That shit, I do be, do I be sore, my nigga? I ain't gonna lie to you, yeah, but it's uh, it's easy money, man, easy money. All right, y'all, oh, I hope y'all can see me, fuck. I'm about to go on my 15 minute break, it's 11.40 right now, and my lunch is at 12.30. And I usually leave to go to my lunch like 10, 15, 20 minutes before. So, so I'll let you know. I just came back from my break and this is how it look in here. Empty, so I'm about to fill this up. Let me tell y'all about the pros and cons of this job. Uh, pros, it's easy money, it's easy as fuck. Uh, you don't gotta talk to nobody. I mean, you talk to the customers and the other car pushers, but you don't really gotta, like, you know, really talk to nobody. Uh, it's kind of like a mini workout, low key, because you walk in the whole day, so you stay active or whatever. Uh, and it's just easy, you can finesse, like it's just so easy. And the cons, I would say is, I guess it's repetitive, I guess, but every job is repetitive, so you can't really say that. When it's hot as fuck, it's hot as fuck. When it's cold as fuck, it's cold as fuck. If the mules, cause uh, when I first started working here, like after like three weeks, the mule broke. So I had to do that shit with my hands, so that that's tough. But that's what I used to do in the old days, so you just gotta deal with it, but. That's really it. I mean, when it's busy and you alone, it is a little tough, but the pros outweigh the cons in my opinion. It's pretty simple, bro. If you want to do this, it's pretty easy. The, just put the shits on the, uh, the the mule and you good. Just don't hit nobody's cars. Like put, <laughs> the most I did was like almost 30. I tried to do like 34, but I, uh, I hit someone's car a little bit because the wind blew that shit, fuck. But yeah, uh, other than that, this shit's so simple, bro. Get the job if you if you feel like it. It's so easy. All right, y'all. I got 10 minutes left on the clock. Uh, I usually stop like you know 15 minutes before, 10 minutes before, 
uh, it wasn't busy or nothing today, so it was pretty simple. Uh, hopefully this video not long. I ain't really record too much. I just recorded, you know, just the shit, because obviously, like I said, it's repetitive, so I can't just show y'all me pulling the fucking cars the whole time. You know, obviously that's all you're doing. But yeah, uh, if you are interested in being a cart pusher at Walmart or any other place, hopefully this video uh, just showed y'all uh, the ins and outs. It wasn't nothing crazy, nigga. It's not hard. <laughs> it's not hard at all. Pretty simple. The time flew by. I uh, got to Boo Boo on my breaks and my lunch, hour long lunch. It was pretty simple. Uh, I just wanted to get this little vlog and I seen other niggas make videos like this before I became a car pusher. So I wanted to just make a video and just show y'all that it's really easy. Um, just fill the shit up and that's all you gotta do. You don't gotta talk to nobody. The only people that's gonna talk to you is certain customers. They might ask you for like an e-cart or uh, they might just say some silly shit like, uh, you know, just some, I can't think of the dome right now, nigga. It's hot as fuck. Yeah. Well, hopefully I showed y'all everything. That is everything, but hopefully I showed y'all everything y'all wanted to see. If you was uh, interested about being a cart pusher. Uh, yeah, I've been one for almost three months now, and it's pretty simple. Uh, that's all I really got to say. First video on this channel, I'm going to post vlogs and all types of shit like that. Just ran random shit. Go subscribe to my main channel. Thank It should be right here. But yeah, I'm just post vlogs and shit. I might post another car pusher video one day. I don't know. But yeah, if y'all enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. I got one subscriber right now. Uh, let's try to get to 10. Stay safe and look.